Are you excited, Anders? I'm very excited. I think there's a lot riding on this, you know, especially in the in the context of Asian Counter Strike. You know, a chance for a, another slot in the future to be added up. I think this is going to be a really, really interesting game. I look forward to it. Um, I, I mean, the map picks, obviously. You could see the desk were a little bit thrown off there. And you've got the weight of a region on your shoulders as well. They could earn themselves either a new slot in the major for Asia or the Americas here. That's a compelling storyline, but one we won't focus on because right now we're going to get stuck into Ancient. It's Mongols taking on Legacy here for all the marbles in the opening stage. We've got three more games to bring you today. All kicks off here and it will be... Nice little B lean here. The Mongols with all five players on this side of the map. Quick flash in towards the cave. And it's going to be Barton actually making his way up towards the ledge. Nice opening frag. It's a bit of a shocking start read. He actually caught him mid air, but Sensu is back in and he's doing a lot of damage there. Instantly takes down Nekus. A lot of damage onto Lado as well. So they were a little bit beat up to start with here. And they're trying to push down the Glock and actually will be successful. That's a massive risk. They flash their way into it. Cold Sierra able to pick up the kill and suddenly. Just barely a two on four now. Lado, what a sniper shot with the USB at range. It's nine, ten, and blitz to try and hold on to this round. There isn't a kit, but man, this is still going to be a very, very hard round for Mongols to try and win. One versus three, all of a sudden. They're on the bomb, already tapping it, and now he has to try and see if he can find these kills. About five seconds left, Ooh. and they're going to get the headshot. What a great <laughs> retake what? coming through for Legacy. Oh, the fireworks going off already, Anders. Legacy are fired up, and it was a very successful retake. The bomb does get planted, though, so not all hope is lost. It uh, does enable you to bring out the Galils into the next round here, and that's still a very potent round here. It uh, can actually be even more powerful than winning the pistol, potentially, and you can see this fantastic retake coming in. The USP pixel Whoa. perfect each and every time. That's a wonderful shot there Cut towards down. the back lines. Barton closing things out there as Blitz unable to clutch out the one versus three. Certainly possible. we got one kill there. Stops the defuse. There's no kid in play. Maybe could have done something with it. But as I mentioned, Anders, the Mongols still have a good fighting chance here in round number two. The Galils are out. Desert Eagle from Xenio just makes sure he has a bit of utility. Uh, so this suggests some sort of execution. I would assume towards the B side of the map with the bomb right there at this stage. So waiting for the initial utility to be dispersed. Allowing the CTs to have B lane control. That's absolutely fine. You can retake this area. And they're trying to deplete that utility to start with. So got to play a very slow and patient game here. So this is great for the CTs of Legacy, but when they don't get any frags from it and it gets retaken, yeah. uh, Mongols might actually be able to execute fully into this B site and have no utility used against them. Well, they're bringing more people here. That's very interesting. They might they're actually expecting be here. expecting for the push to come through. That's pretty sick. So they're saying, all right, there's no more utility really going to be going down here. Do you want to take a peek? It's a, essentially a three-way crossfire. There are so many sick flashes now you can do over these double doors that flush these positions out. I don't know how they hold on to it, but let's see if they've got that in mind or that it's going to go for a, a clean peek around the corner. It might even be that the Molotov could be used. It's... Obviously, also could be used for the site itself, but you can so clear out one of these close players corners. Here, so they're not going to flash it, that it's going to go through? No way. This seems wild to me. Look at the clock as well. This is a tremendous risk. If you uh, fail this now, you can't go back. You can't really run back to the A bomb side. They're all in. The FAMAS up first. Good headshot for Barton. Techno going to negotiate the next one pretty well. They trade forward, but they're not expecting the third man in. This uh, is the last one. Neck oh. is with a double kill. Didn't like that, Anders, to be honest with you. There's so many good flashes you can do from that T-Ramp. You can yeah. like, fr like pop flash over the door, then go through. I, I can't even think... hear the pin right. It's exactly. like so far away. And walking through one by one like that, that is pretty woeful. Like I, I was kind of building it up. I was just a cool idea. You're depleting all that utility. There's a chance you can push them back, then execute. But they just waited and had no information elsewhere on the map. They could have been flanked and didn't even use a flash to get rid of the double doors. That's a very underwhelming second round there from the Mongols. The favorites, I would say, going into this matchup. It's Legacy with a flying start now as they're up against just the Deagles. No Kevlar to speak of. And, well, oh, that lovely headshot from Blitz. The Grandmaster himself opens things up. We saw the stats coming into the game, I mean... He's been playing lights out. Techno might have a free kill here with the Tech Nine. You can see Lado is not aware. He's re smoking it. He's assuming no one's walked through it. Senzu okay. All right. finds a shot. <laughs> Cold Sierra is dead. I can't believe it. Here we go then. All it took was uh, some pistols, no Kevlar, and uh, three kills granted. I'm not sure that's uh, Legacy giving too much away or what? Techno just getting <laughs> off the leash. That is wild. What a round this is. Barton remains. They've barely done any damage 
in this particular round. Now, it does beg the question, did Legacy just overstep the mark there? Are they stepping into the crosshairs too much or just amazing shots being delivered left, right, and center? Either way, the round goes in favor of Mongols and they've recovered the early stages of this map of Ancients. I really think this is the Asian Counter-Strike experience. This is what you get sometimes. It's not all the time, which is the big issue, but sometimes in terms of just the mechanics alone, it's so insane what they could do. Barton's going to be living through the round because nobody really bothered to check that red room. But yeah, the mechanics, they have it down. That's horrifying to be up against. I see some of the replays here because I'm sure there was some cracking shots there. The first one, though, you find the Deagle from Blitz. You think, fair enough, they happen. But then it just kind of unraveled at the seams. Well, we listen, last time we were, we were casting Techno, we talked about how aggressive he is, how much he's pushing all the time. Okay, so he's around for the okay, It's kind of wild, actually. And look at this push here. That's what gives him the, the advantage. It's also a huge liability for Techno to be that aggressive, but sometimes it just pays off. Well, that certainly throws a cat among the pigeons. We're going to get aggressive once again. This time, Lasso tries his luck with a 5-7. Damage inflicted. Frags back and forth, but it will be Mongols coming out on top here. Absolute pandemonium towards the mid area. It is going to be a three versus two, still in favor of the Mongols. As Barton decides just to peel off here. Upgrade to an M4A1S. He's got a smoke and a diffuse kick. Cold Zero will join him with the FAMAS. He tucks away towards the back of the B bombsite, Anders. So that's going to reset the round. Very chaotic start, but you can see Mongols still have an AWP. The AK-47, tons of utility remaining, and more importantly, a lot of time to work with here. Legacy has spread very, very thin indeed. They've got Barton half HP. Can't really justify holding a bombsite by himself here. He's going to team up. Yeah. We've called Zera, presumably, as he looks towards middle. <sighs> Speaking of which, he's denied that look towards middle. That's actually really annoying. He really wanted to see if you could catch anyone in there. In the meantime, they're sneaking onto the A bomb site slowly but surely. There's a third player here, and he's going to go down to Cold Zero, who was waiting the entire round over at the B bomb site. He's rewarded for it. Techno found in that moment, and we're back into a two versus two. And there is a defuse kit on Barton, so. This round can be won by Legacy. It's not completely done yet. They're quite far away. It's very, very risky to get back onto the site. And you can tell they've already been found a little bit here. Two versus two, though. Martin moving a bit closer now, but he's going to get found 9-10. I think that pretty much cancels out the round. Cold Zero, you can stick around if you wanted to make it more expensive. I don't think you can win the round. I don't think he can either. But it looks like he's going to try and find some exits at the very least. He can catch him on the cross, but doesn't really have the weapon for the job here. Just got to save the FAMAS. It's going to be Mongols stealing a couple of rounds away there. First one of the Deagles and the Tech Nines. And this was a bit scrappy, but they made all the right plays. Uh, it was pretty safe towards the end of it as uh, Legacy now presumably down to an eco. They did have $4,000 on one player, but the rest of them hovering around 2K. So maybe a few pistols to be dished out with the FAMAS, but I don't think we'll see enough force by. It's a really great call, though, from Legacy. The, the, the push into middle distracts the entire T-Force, and they're not expecting the double push coming out of the A-hallways, and that's how they get caught. They're just all looking towards that center position. And as which region would you like to see get another slot? Oh! <laughs> that's really rough. If, for me, it's not just about the regions, though. I, I guess to answer that question, I think it would be cool to see more Asian talent, right? Like, I kind of wish we fair, could. Right? They've only ever had two. Yeah. Stuff. So I think that's fair. Also, that we know where the next major is going to be. So true there's... as well. All right. That's <laughs> so, well, good answer. So I think I'm going that for me personally. You done well there. I really want to see Cold Zero do more. I'm there's something personal Ooh. about that. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a dud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Zeus isn't as exciting when it doesn't connect. It's just not. You're just like, well, I'm done for. Yeah, I think that's a very good point. Because his his fall from grace. Obviously, with you know, with with Taco as his sidekick, like what they were able to do together as a duo was just so sickening. Um, but obviously, that's a long, long time ago, and it, I, it's it's been a bit frustrating. It's been one of those players that you've had to talk to new Counter Strike viewers about and say, hey, you don't you don't understand how good he was back in the day, like all that stuff. Kind of want to. I want people to see it. All right, let's see what he can do. Getting into this round, 40 seconds remaining. Cold Zero behind the old big box here. He's got a big task ahead of him, I'm afraid. The Molotov lands at his feet and still delivers the kill. Keeps him competitive in the round because they are actually running out of time here, Anders. 30 seconds. This is very awkward, although there is nobody at the B-bomb site. What's the... Okay, so suggesting that they're 
falling back. That's actually very smart from Techno. I like that play, but 20 seconds. The B-bomb side is open. It really is down to Coldzera once again. If he gets that kill, maybe there's something to be said. But unfortunately, Farton is pretty far removed from the situation. Has got the AK-47, 100 HP, sure. But uh, no Kevlar to speak of. Might be better off just saving it. I would have said to deal with, but he's got the orbs. I would have said definitely, no matter what. If you look at the money on that CT yeah, side, there was, no, there was no reason to go for that. I don't know what you're hoping is going to happen, but save the AK. Yeah, that would have been my guess too. But you know, maybe he had a feeling that he could have snuck in and made a little bit of chaos happen. <laughs> uh, yeah. Cold Sierra, I agree. If he got that third kill on the on the actual B bomb side, maybe, maybe there's a conversation to be had there. But either way, Mongols. Three to two in their favor. It's a pretty good start. Considering how it kicked off, 2-0 against them, and yeah, we'll see. Mongols now boosting 9-10, the AWP. Up in the box is outside the bomb side itself. Two miles. We've There's got a ledge push coming in as well from the CTs. Yeah, they're going for it right away, but look at the crossfire set up here between Barton and Cold Zero. They're going to be able to shut it down to begin with. And that's all you need, really. No, I can't believe he wins that fight. That's so ridiculous. Had his back turned. What's his sensitivity like? But again, you, you just have to know Techno's going to be pushing at all times. He's back at it again here towards the donut. He doesn't really stand still. He's uh, he's an he's the Asian version of art at this point in time. <laughs> just won't stop. Well, Blitz will be the last remaining player of Mongols here. The in-game leader will have to step up and... Maybe just cause a bit of damage here. A couple of kills would be very welcome addition to their round six efforts. But it doesn't look likely. That's one, but yeah. Good setup called Zero will shut down that particular round. It was a very quick play towards the B side, trying to pounce through the initial utility with the boosted sniper behind them. Didn't really work out. Legacy more than equipped to deal with it. And it's a pretty clean round there. Called Zero denies the plan to make sure that they actually tie things up at 3-3 now in this first half of Ancient. Money should be fine going forward for the Mongols, though. Never mind, this is uh, their pick. Oh, I'd say fine. We've got uh, MZ Neo down to the Tech 9. 9-10 opting for the AWP, so a few concessions to be made, but overall it's looking pretty good. Ball outside B once again, and it's more of a default setup. They're going to be challenging with that AWP towards the cave, and once again, Dumao aggressive towards his ledge position. Yeah, last Freebie. time he... Oh, not quite smokes down. Still able to see something, or he just guessed, I don't know, but either way, it's a lot of damage. He's been doing that a couple of rounds now, Dumao, and I think one round, the last one, they had him smoked off. If they don't smoke him off and he keeps being aggressive like that, that's going to be an issue for them. <laughs> oh my god, he actually got the dink off, but it doesn't yeah. matter. AK a little bit more powerful in that sense. Techno will finally go down again. Another round where he's aggressive and pushing through the smoke. It's just worth pointing out because you're going to see it. He's not going to stop doing it. Oh, we've got a four versus three. Legacy with the man advantage for now. One minute on the clock. Senzu with the AWP recovered from 9-10, considering he's down to 26 points of health. Speaking of which, 9-10 will explore his options towards the Jaguar slash cave position. Slato defending with Bart on this side of the map. I've got the bomb, though. That's all the way back at Elbow. So maybe a little fake in towards B here. Yeah, exactly. So faking towards Shaw, just trying to keep these players this side of the map. Molotov to remove vision, and they're going to slowly but surely make their way in towards A. If 9 gets a kill here, Anders, this would be massive. If you can find Lazo, that's the kill. That's the moment. That's the linchpin yeah. of this round. That would have really, really thrown a bit of a spanner in the works for Legacy. But I think now they've got it on lockdown here. Call to, ooh, maybe Hello. not. Messino, he's pushing ooh. forward. He gets a double. I can't believe it. They were in the middle of setting up a flashbang and they got interrupted and now instead we're back into a two versus two here. And another shot from Messino, he keeps it going, he wants every single one, Henry! Unbelievable. I don't know how that round falls apart. It looked like it was going so well. Legacy had all the information, all the kills going in their favor, uh, but fumbling. The holding towards the A side core with their pants down, the flashes came through. This is the moment. Very effective flashes, but yeah, caught in the corner. Memzinho starts mowing them down. It's a colossal round to pick up here as they take the lead once again. It's four to three. It's a compromise buy there for Mongols. They had a player on the Tech Nine, limited utility, but it sends Legacy packing. USPs pretty much across the board here. We have a Dumao P250. A neck is five seven. That one 
falls apart. That is a frustrating round to give up there. They had all the intel. They read the yep. fake. They knew exactly what they were up against. But lost out in the 1v1 duels. A two versus. That's a map-changing round. They should not have been losing that one. We'll see if they have some trickery themselves to try and bring it back. They need a bit of a miracle right now. This is actually a disaster for them. Sneaking into the middle. Might have flown right under the radar here. But again, even if they get the boost up, they're still going to be up against AKs on the other side. So it's not going to be easy with the USPs, but, you know, find the right timing, maybe. Oh, hello. Getting a look at her. It's fine. Better to say, some damage inflicted, a kill found, but that's about it. Nekis, in-game lead up, taken down with the flank towards the A side of the map as well. Mongols, pretty decent recovery here after being down 2-0. Lost the pistol and actually bringing this one nicely back together. This is their map pick and legacy. I still feel like the money's going to be a little bit on the ropes here, but we'll see. Maybe a tactical timeout is required. Cold Zera now known as a hybrid or player at this point, was the in-game leader of this squad. Yep. Handed it back over to Nekis and waiting for him to really get going. But uh, he's top ragging right now, seven and four. He's had his moments, but let's see if the M4 setup is going to be enough to win the round. Looks aggressive towards K back. There's two players gunning for control towards the B lanes here. Nekis leading that charge. A very aggressive setup in the CTs. Yeah, it's a good way to have control out here. Just pushed him back in the middle. Blitz taking a fight. It takes way too long. And he gets shot in the side instead. Dumao sneaking in from the red room to take him down. Four versus five. Right on the lip of the A bomb site. But they don't have the bomb with them. But they can still clear it out. They can still find the opening and decide what to do afterwards. They're kind of committed to it at this point in time. You can tell. Two players out here fighting. See if... Messino's mechanics can change the round like it did earlier. He's going to find that headshot. 9-10 does go down, but... This young player is absolutely crisp right now. It's ridiculous. 11-5 and five on him. Here we go. The bomb goes down, Anders. The retake begins. Back and forth we go. Mzinho had a chance to do something with it, but uh, stifled before he even gets going. Cold Zera. Manages to pick up that final frag. It will be Legacy. A nice little set piece there from the CTs. I think they had to change the pace. They didn't have the AWP. They didn't have all the utility. Uh, just get aggressive. Two players fast out of the cave. One towards ledge. One push in round, which is Nekis. Lock them out with the utility. Find the opening frag and follow them in towards A. You can see it was absolute chaos there towards middle. And uh, Mongols weren't ready for that sort of aggression. We've seen B-lane pushes from uh, Legacy so far, but not all in like that. That was uh, a lot going on. Double incendiary. A ton of flashes and uh, overwhelms the offense there. All done. Legacy, very good round. Yeah, so they needed it, especially after giving up that two versus four. I think that's the kind of round where you're back to basics, some of the defense actually working. More importantly, you're getting some money out of it. They didn't lose too many in that previous round, so we'll absolutely take it. Yes, Dumao winning that fight against Blitz in the middle was really important. Good retake as well. Yeah. Very very. So here he comes, the Cold Zera AWP. Done a few things with some mages over the years, Anders. He certainly has. Quite a long time ago, but still, the point remains. Five players towards B for Mongols. It's either a rush or a set piece. We've got that Lurk Smoke being deployed as well, so suggesting he's going to try and contact play off the Lurk Smoke, and in we go. Flashes in, deep breath. Mzinho to lead the charge, double kill potential, can't quite convert it. Tekno will find the trade, and once again, kill after kill. This time, Legacy coming out on top, and it's 9-10, thrusted into the clutch. But AWP, behind enemy lines right now, I don't think he stands a chance. No, Lado's already walked out, he's in the smoke behind him, so... I don't think there's much he can do. Alive. Maybe if it goes to the A-bomb side, if they really somehow don't spot him, but they will. Lado expertly uh, defended. I've got to say that the time to kill the first shot that Lado had was so short. It was an instant double bullet to the face, and that gives him a lot more space, you can tell. If that's an extended fight that he has to spend like seven bullets to spray somebody down, it's a little bit different, but he just made quick work of it and was ready for the next player to come. Well done. Although those B rushes are really lethal. I mean, we've seen it time and again, even with Tech Knights. Especially like if you know your opposition are doing things like the, the cave push, the ledge um, jump up, like you can actually get up towards the ramp itself, lock them out from the cave, but different setup from Legacy. They were more than ready for it. Instant smoke towards the double door once again. Uh, it's going to be an eco though from Mongols. So we'll see if Techno can do anything with it. He gets the hero AK. He's actually kind of shoved all in here. Going to have to try and beat that smoke. And I think 
He's going to be bested here. Yeah, indeed. Barton more than ready for that sort of trick. Mzinho trying to recover the AK-47 if possible, but yeah, that's round over, I'm afraid. And number 11 slips by the wayside. Just they can see back to life. They've guaranteed at least half of the rounds here in this first half. Absolutely huge. I was really nervous for them losing that two on four. It looked like that was going to be the beginning of a huge spiral. But they've managed to control the descent a little bit now. Six rounds, pretty good. Might even be in a position to do a little bit more here. Got a couple of people that are really warmed up. Something I love about this speed defense right now is they haven't got caught off by any of those ramp plays. That's a... I feel like there are so many top teams that do that still to this day, where suddenly nobody's looking ramp and someone's just sneaking up. Yeah, he, he was more than ready for it. He saw the smoke go down and it's uh, a cue for the T's to try to sneak through. But here we are, Anders. It is going to be the final round of the first half here. Legacy looking alive and well in the last few rounds there. Calculated aggression, great individual form. Has gifted them at least six rounds here. Can they take it up to seven, though? Barton. Again, playing around that smoke. Atta will pop open the smoke towards the cave. Gets a bit of intel, not too much damage, but he knows his players on the other side of these smokes here. Senzu trying to crack things open if possible, but you see they're struggling to find any real grasp on the map right here. Again, they're in this position. It's just it's so sick for the T side to be here because one kill will pretty much open up the bomb site. But you do need that kill. They've fallen a little bit further back. It's that, so he actually gets away with that shot. He was kind of low already. Four versus five now. The bomb getting a bit planted. They've got Messino in the middle. He could be a late lurk, a late flank. They're going to know that no one's coming in from this side. So that's good information for Mongols. They could win this round even being a man down. I think they can. I think they might even have the advantage here. Good smokes deployed. They still have one left in reserve as well. A couple of flashes. It's going to be a very difficult retake coming through. Molotov's being deployed and Blitz getting one through the smoke. We're back to a four on four. Yeah, they put down another smoke just now. Oh, this is so dreadful for Legacy. I think they miscalculated how many smokes were still left. Yeah. Dumao and Cold Sierra oh. trying to get back in. He actually just get the shot. Dumao with the pistol out. Messino, he gets the spray and I don't think there's enough time. He tries to tap the bomb, but it's just so late in the round. They're all going to go up with the bomb at the end. Six to six as we tie up the game. Great half, I have to say. To kick off the day, Counter-Strike. Hell yes. I had everything. M Messino's absolutely out of control. His mechanics in this first half have just been so impressive. That's carried them a long way forward. Again, got that quad killer the two on four round. Well, MZ knows well. He's 16 years old. Yeah. Anders. The youngest player at the major. And uh, to impressing us like that, that's uh, quite, quite amazing, to be honest with you. Showing that sort of form, that sort of confidence time and time again. It looked like a bit of a desperate round there for the Mongols to close things out. But as I said, they has had smoke after smoke. Quite interesting, they're using the, the Molotovs on the execution just to make sure they have the residual smokes for the post plan, yeah. which makes it that much more potent as well. So you lock out the rotations of the deep Molotov, then you're smoking on top once the bomb is down. And you can see the CTs didn't have any time to work. They're trying to push through those smokes. Didn't work out for them. And uh, I love it. We split it right down the middle here. Wouldn't have it any other way in the game with this much weight attached to it. First round for Legacy on their T side here. We've got one smoke, a couple of flashbangs, make it three in total. E250 for Lato as well. As they focus, four players towards that elbow position, smoke down a red, suggests they'll be going towards Dona, but a lot of teams like to push through this red smoke, Anders, and flash through, and that's kind of cause chaos here, and the CTs are ready for it. Yeah, they actually have the setup for it. A huge crossfire. You might be walking right into the blender. And indeed, 9-10 with a double kill. Blitz also getting a little bit of a bite of the cake here. And it's Nekis and Cold Zero. Not Nekis. Yeah, the knife out. <laughs> Just Cold Zero. Yeah, that, that's a very popular strat right now. It looks like you're going to go towards Donut, but you flash through the red room smoke and then you yeah, try and sick. just split towards either B or A, of course. Um, but Mongols... That was an anti-strat. They had three players ready and waiting in towards that red room slash backtrack to be bomb site. And they absolutely dominate the round. Did they even take any damage? Yeah, well, okay, 12 on Blitz, that's about it. But this is a beautiful setup. Uh, so they're definitely aware of the tendencies here of Legacy. And uh, unfortunately, if Neck is in game leader taken down there, trying to get a bit of a flank in, maybe a couple of consolation frags. But no bomb planted like we saw in the first half. So that means a full eco by in the third round. Mongols have a chance to Stretch their legs in round number 14. Uh, you don't really want to purchase anything at this point. Legacy, you need every single dollar you can get. 
And if you can get the bomb planted, Anders, that would be worth its weight in gold. Yeah. So just straight up beat rush, get it over with, see what we can do. Right into the MP9. It's a bit of a dream scenario, really, for Sensu. Although he does get taken down, they've lost a couple of players here. And Cold Zero, you know, want that bomb plant, but he wanted to see if he could find another kill before he did it. Blitz instead will take him down, and Mongols, they'll live through the round. They do lose a couple of MP9s, but um, yeah, they've got a bit of a lead right now. Legacy starting to slowly fall behind here. Well, it's their first going around, Anders. We'll give them that. We'll see what they can make of it. They won't have the AWP, but that's not a big deal. And you just want to be focusing on the rifles for now. It's like a little for Lato. Round 15 underway. 910 does have the orb, just to know that. Into smoke down towards elbow. Also behind it as well. A flash was destined towards the ledge position to allow Techno to push out potentially. It's going to flash himself through. Oh, this is brave. We talked about his aggression. And it's rewarded with at least one kill here, but Lasso shuts them down like a little doing work out there. There was no head armor on Sensu. I th think he might have won that fight against Lasso if he had. Right. You could see he disappeared instantly when he got out there. Blitz gonna get shut down as well. Head armor or not, it's not gonna make a difference against the AK at all. But 910 trying to keep this round alive for his team takes down Cold Sierra. And the bomb has dropped quite far back there, so. Lado will probably have to go back and pick it up. Messino's still alive, but whenever that's the case, you just have okay. to be worried. Kid this, is an absolute superstar. This is the problem now. mzino has got all the sound cues, I was about to say, but it's all in vain because it was a bit of a fake. I was about to say, that's a wild maneuver running in, but it's all calculated. It's all part of the plan. And it actually has worked quite nicely. He's pulled 910 over to this side of the map. Lato, otherwise, waiting at the B doors with the bomb as he patiently waits for Dumao to rotate over. We've still got 35 seconds. I say still, but yeah, you're gonna have to pick up the pace now. Get your skates on as uh, then it is walking towards B. Are they gonna let the presence be known? So yeah, they're gonna smoke off. Okay. And in we go. If they have the AWP against him, which they do, the HP is not a factor. So we'll see if they get that bomb planted. It's Sendry to try and deny the plan. No way. It's actually quite a nice idea. No way. That's, that's huge. Really, yeah, that's a really big issue. Because now it's a nice open plant, and that's a big shot. 910 goes down with nothing. Molotov will force them back, though. And Masino, he's coming in through the smoke, worried on the other side. Are they going to be ready for this one? He's coming in, cut and blazing. Oh, oh my God! God! There's no way! That is absolutely huge. Mongol steal the round away. A fantastic push through the smoke shatters the dreams of Legacy. It was looking so good. They played it so well. Taking down the sniper, pushing through the smoke. Another chaotic round falls apart for the Brazilians. And it's Mzinho, the youngest player at the tournament, delivering time and time again. How has he done that? Huge. That is such a demoralizing round. He won that clutch. He won the two versus four. He's got 17 kills. This is absolutely outrageous. Oh, he's not done yet, Anders. Oh, he wants more. Yeah, you're absolutely right. He's not going to slow this one down. So in we go towards the A-bomb site. Lato will respond, trying to find some footing in the round now. They need this one, but Senzu denying yet another entry. Double kill found on the A-bomb site. Four on two now. Surely he doesn't get this frag. My God. Continuing to dominate every single position on the map. Mzinho with 19 kills and 8 deaths right now. Lato's still a fighting chance. He's got a single flashbang, which has now been expended towards CT spawn. Bomb on his back. And a good fighting chance of winning this one, but it's not going to be easy by any stretch of the imagination. Shot in the back. Lato hoping to find some space, hoping to find the bomb as well, I think. This has slipped out of Legacy's control. Who could have seen this coming? Who could have known that he was going to show up today at this level? One player to absolutely change the course of this map. Tactical timeout. And that was their force buy with no plan going down yeah. as well at the worst possible time, Anders. They are in a lot of trouble here on Ancient. It's been a back and forth game. They've had their moments as well. Stolen a few rounds away. But the last few have been a disaster. Legacy can feel Ancient slipping out of their grasp. Coldzera has gone quiet. 
And Zeno is dominating them. Every single duel seems to fall apart. And now that fast-paced, snappy gameplay, it's not even finding a bomb plant. So I think it's full eco. I think... Oh, they've only got 34k. So they can definitely get bit. more than a, an eco. They can get like a, a half by at the very yeah. least. Try for one of those B rushes with some tech nines, maybe. That would be nice. If they can steal this sort of round away, or at least get a bomb Another plant down, make it out. uncomfortable. Yeah, double timeout. I think if they had a bit of a read on especially how Techno plays, actually slowing the game down could be nice. Also, you're, you're not running into, into Messino, who's, who's obviously just at this point in time unstoppable. So if you're just feeding him kills, that's not going to help out. But if you give some space, maybe he doesn't feel as comfortable. And Techno is probably going to be aggressive. So maybe wait and see what Techno does. I, I, you know, sometimes you can just structure your play around one player because he does do it a lot. So there it is. It's actually quite a significant purchase with the utility as well. Tech Nines, Kevlar, for that maximum loss bonus. And uh, we're sending multiple smokes towards Red Room, Donut, and the Lurk smoke towards B, as previously mentioned. That's uh, very meta right now. Just trying to bait out initial utility, keep the CTs guessing, remove as much vision as you possibly can as they help themselves towards middle here. Look at, they've basically gone for a full B execute but in terms of smokes. Yeah. But they're not actually going B. They're up middle with the bomb. They're looking to see if they can overwhelm. They're going right at the hardest player cool on the trap. team. And I mean, it works. They're going to get the trade on him. Yeah, they, they've timed that really nicely. It's all set up to keep the CTs guessing across the map. Then as soon as the smoke fades, you've got three yeah. Tech Nines waiting towards Dona. And yeah. sure, they lose a player, but they've got a four and four now and a rifle. Yeah, if you want to understand that around, you have to think about what are the comms like for Mongols when it's happening. No one has a clear read. Saying, oh, there are grenades in the middle, there are grenades in B. Nobody has yep. seen anyone. What's happening? Like, no, no one can make a clear Hello. read. Oh my God. Okay, they needed this sort of success. And I think they might have to kill on 910 as well, but no. He sneaks away, but there's a lot of pressure being applied towards the A side now. You can see Temple's being overwhelmed. He misses another shot. He needs his rifles to step up here. Techno, what have you got for us? First kill found. Bombarding bullets towards that temple, but he can't hold on. It's down to Blitz, in-game leader, to try and save the day here. 35 seconds, but the bomb goes down. Well, don't underestimate Blitz either. He is the kind of player that could do it, but unfortunately, he's getting flanked. I think Cold Seer is walking up right behind him. Yeah, no chance that he could have done it. That's a really long flank for Cold Seer to make, and it comes up perfectly. So, and it's a double timeout into a pretty impressive and technical round coming through there. It smokes yeah. and pretty much every choke point. We're talking Red Room, Donut, B bomb site, shorts, and it's towards A as well, waiting for the smoke to dissipate towards Donut at the perfect timing. Trade out a kill, get an AK-47, split through the red room, in towards <laughs> the A site, hit every single shot down the B lanes, bring it down to a two versus one, and steal the round away. That's why you need a double timeout for those sort of scenarios. There was a lot of moving parts there. Yeah, what a recipe to try and come up with. They had all the ingredients and Results, you can't really complain to it. It's going to be three in the middle. Looks like it's not a flashbang in sight, so they're just going to be counting the seconds here and trying to go for it. I mean, if they win a round like this one, Mongols, it's too much, I think, for Legacy to handle, so they shouldn't be winning it anyway. It's just USBs, and I think a single deagle in play. Blitz getting a kill here or there, but not more than that. Oh my God, the spray from Lano. How did he control it? He, he did, like, a full, like... Almost more than 90 degree spray and got all the headshots. It's it very clean. Give them that. So that was the eco, though. Money still won't be amazing, I would imagine, because they had about $2,000 going into this one. So you can tell, God, yeah, it's pretty <laughs> it's ugly. And there's the yeah, utility is non existent. They've got an auto shocker for Zenzu, for Mass from Zenio. And initial utility is being exchanged now. Take quite a lot of damage on Roots as well. 910 will miss the initial orb shot, but makes up for it on the second. Oh, double kill from Blitz through the smoke. Can they find the fourth kill? It looks like the round might be done here. Wallbang attempted and converted. Techno seals the deal. Another chaotic, crazy round of Counter-Strike. The double kill through the smoke. A thing of beauty as Cold Zera is left with nothing to do here. A round where they entered with no util, a shotgun, a FAMAS, and it actually looks to be a clean sweep. But if it keeps going, I mean, they, they can go in and find those AKs. They can upgrade the shotgun, the FAMAS, like they can keep stacking on these weapons. It's a huge problem for Legacy. They didn't even have a chance to say anything in that round. You see Cold Sierra has a minute left on the clock to wait around. 
They don't have another double tarmite, but do they have another strategy like the one that they pulled earlier? Is there something still left that they can surprise Mongols with? Because this is starting to become a really big issue. Lado has massively stepped it up. He's got 19 kills, but unfortunately, Messino is just a step ahead of everybody in the server, it feels like. Oh, yes, indeed. 30 seconds remaining. Cold Zera. $6,600 residual cash. So, yeah, obviously going to try and save this AWP. Not in the best position to do so. If they come probing for him, he's going to be surrounded. You can see how many angles he's trying to hold on to right now. But they're not actually forcing the issue. I think they want to hold their money as well. Mongols yeah. like don't have a ton of cash here, so just keeping the rifles in their hands. It's going to be 11 to 8. Very, very nice round there. I don't know how Blitz got away with the double kill towards Elbow there, but it was uh, a thing of beauty, I have to say. Three AKs given over the CT side yeah. is a big problem. So the money is fine, but, uh, and they do save the orb, but yeah, you're right. The firepower now has been increased exponentially on the CT side. Yeah, because we've already seen it a couple of times in this game where you get the dink from the M4A1, and, but the, the, the T side player will still win because the, the strength of the AK, but that's, <laughs> that's eliminated now. <laughs> that upgrade to the AK, so you don't have to reload to get the ball bang afterwards, that is wild. Techno is a really fun player to watch. I have serious questions about whether or not his style is going to be working throughout the rest of the major, but I mean, it's, it is really entertaining. 11 to 8, the scoreline. Round number 20. Legacy two rounds away from losing this map. Now, it was picked by the Mongols, but still, you don't want to be starting down a map. The loss here. So Molotov 9-10 getting really pressured, forcing their way back. That's a layering of flashbangs to get rid of him. Yeah, well, good job by Blitz, though. At least brings it back to a 4-4. Four four. This retake is possible. If they just got that clean kill on the plan, you probably won't even go for it. But now you're considering your options. You've slowed them down, dropped the incendiary to deny a deep plant as well. Up in the smoke, a cold Zera. There it is. His AWP finally ringing out here, but he's completely flashed towards the platform, and they're planting and losing so many players on route. Mzenio continues to find every single kill, 23 in total, as he finds map point for Mongols. Unreal! <laughs> I have no idea how he's doing it. Like, before you can even work out what his next maneuver is, how he's going to find the next frag, he's just killing everyone through boxes, through walls, through <laughs> all sorts of utility. It's absolutely unbelievable. It all started with the Barton kill on 910. You think that's going to be enough? Cold Zera securing the bomb site, but then here we go. Amzinho just gallivanting in towards the bomb site. Triple kill! Wins the round, secures the map potentially as well. What an absolute sicko. He's completely been unleashed. Oh, trying to make the jump over mid air. The flashbangs are good. They finally get rid of Messino. This is their chance here. Neck is in the middle. They want overtime legacy. They do not want to give up this map just yet. Three versus five. This is the start that they needed. It's good to see legacy wake up a little bit here because they were being robbed blind in front of our very eyes. Good flashbangs. 9-10 getting pushed back once again. All right. They've got him locked in here. He's he's being pushed from CT spawn as well. He's so uncomfortable. There's no way he can make it out of this round. He's dead already. He just doesn't really know it yet. Oh, oh they're on. missing shots against him. All right, there we go. <laughs> that was a world. If he gets that kill of main, he would have been ready for the third as well. But uh, no dice this time. It looks like they'll have to yield and give this one up as Legacy going to plant the bombs of four versus two. Techno and Senzu. Waiting at the extremities of the bomb site, seeing if they can get some exits potentially, but another fast and aggressive round towards middle. Yield a double kill for Legacy to kick things off, and they can likely to convert it here. Called Zero watching for the potential flank. And bear in mind there is a player there as well, and the bomb blast on Ancient is unreasonable, to say the very least. So, uh, got to be very careful. Senzu is just looking to cause as much damage as possible, and they are going to be retreating in his direction. Oh, he's going to be a real nuisance here, Anders. Well, maybe not. It was. I mean, he could have had a chance there. They were all exiting that way. If he gets a little bit more, there's definitely a way. Because again, you're right. The blast zone is so huge. You have to run really, really far away from it. But it's a 9 to 12 scoreline. We're not done yet. Nekis opening up, I think, that round with a double kill. Huge. Timeout. Second used by Mongols here. Feeling the pressure. Couple of rounds slipping by. Very fast-paced rounds being presented by Legacy. 
pushing through initial utility, no problem. Converting huge spray downs, hunting down their opponents, primarily towards middle, splitting these bomb sites and keeping decent amount of players alive as well. Managing to keep four alive there. Senzu had a chance to really sabotage the finances and seal the deal, but unfortunately taken down and everyone escapes with their life. The Mongols do have a decent buy here. This is this where they can close things out? Round number 22. They just need one more step in this direction. So much on the line. The Asian region to pick up another slot for the majors in the future. The entire region will be thankful if they're able to defeat Legacy here today. It's only the first map, but still, they're not just fighting for themselves out here. 910's got the AWP. He's in a decent position for it here. It's a good one and done type scenario. You're probably going to get smoked the Molotov out after you get the shot here, but still, it's a bit of a start. Nicely done. Techno gotten rid of. Neck is able to find him. And there come the grenades, making life very, very difficult for 910. He's already being pushed a little bit further back. You can see he doesn't want to step on into it. Blitz. Nice little snipe away as he does get Barton and he's ready for more a headshot. Dumao is going to be dropped next before the bomb is even down. It's advantage for the Mongols. Messino oh. gets the kill, taking down Neck as he's not done yet. Three versus two and Cold. no bomb plant. Cold Zera, exchange blows. Both AWPs connect Anders. No frag found though. No bomb planted yet. 55 seconds remaining, three versus two. Mongols, bear in mind on map points here. This is the best opportunity they've got. The money is broken. They lose this round. I would say it likely goes to overtime. Yeah. yeah, that's what it feels like. I love this move from Blitz, though. Actually, he's he's making sure they can't escape. He's not sure if they're going to try and walk away from the bomb site. But either way, now he's closing the gap. It's really a delicate maneuver here. If he's too quick, they're going to check it, and he's going to die, and it'll be all for nothing. And too late, it's going to be an issue. You can see Lano's just waiting for Blitz. Huge. He cruises into it. Massino gets the kill on Cold Sierra. And that's the map done. Mongols take it away on Ancient, defeating Legacy on the opening map. What a map it was, Anders. It really sets the tone for this best of three. It was their map pick. Legacy suddenly showed up, and they showed character and determination for the skill of Mzinho especially. My god, clutch after clutch.